having a second. Uh, good morning, everyone. Last you heard us, we were in the middle of some really gay shit. Uh, and we've all been deeply affected by this, haven't we? We're I've having, been reading your tweets. We're having a therapy session in here yeah. t- this morning before the show, just talking about the. the we're what talking happened? it through. We're, uh, yeah, we're uh, Holy discussing shit. yesterday's one and done gay off. Not even kidding. That can't ever be done again because I, I, I won't show up. No. And this isn't a homophobic thing or anything. No. This is just, I can't fucking. Yeah. Deal. Yeah, let me set the table. So, uh, well, why don't I don't you know. set the table? Why don't I, you do the I, curtains too? I think yesterday's <laughs> show proves that me and you have gotten extremely lazy, and that, <laughs> and that someone else is controlling this radio show. Because oh, I woke up one day, I don't know, a mere week or or two weeks before yesterday, yeah, realizing we're doing a gay off. I'm like, how did the fuck did I ever say yes to this? Yeah, yeah. Right. it kind of took off on its own. Yeah, it did. And it was our Valentine's Day uh, bit. And yeah. uh, we had IHateStevenSinger.com, you know, come forward with uh, prize yeah. money. A little prize money. And then we uh, had some guys in here with their wives. And uh, and uh, we uh, had them do gay stuff. I can't believe this. I don't know. I, I still can't believe this. I can't either. And... Uh, we figured it'd be a little fun, like kind of in that uh, kind of in that zone where we're okay with. It's it's that awkwardness and uncomfortability that makes it fun, yeah. though. Yeah, you're listening to X Shock Jocks, so we're used to seeing some uncomfortable shit. So we're like, yeah, right. whatever. How right. how bad could this be? Yeah, a little tickling, maybe, maybe a little lap dancing. We can Everyone's all handle laughing that, right? Because it's so uncomfortable. There'll and... be a few jokes in there, right? And then you fast forward, and you got guys like making out with each other in front of their wives, and then you got guys oiling up their hands and and another man's dick, to hoping that he's the one that gets them hard. <laughs> dude, dude, and I'm sitting here going, so, "What the fuck I, is going on?" It was so beyond. By anything. the way, that's my Joe Schmo impression. I uh, hope oh, people that understand it? that. Have you picked up on it yet? Because yes. I've used it a lot now. What is going on here? Yeah, if you could find uh, the Joe Schmo guy doing it. But I've been imitating him for a while, and a few people have picked up on it. Anyway, yeah, we fast forward, and then I think I think uh, one guy had a helmet close to his asshole, and I'm, I'm like, what close. the fuck? It, 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 got, it got so far beyond what I thought it was going to be. Right. Uh, when I read the, the things that they had to do list, yeah. it was things like, oh, the gay guy's going to tickle the guys. Yeah. Oh, look out. Or, yeah. or even the worst thing was like chocolate syrup poured on his foot and he's got to lick it yeah. off his toes. Whoa, that's crazy. R- Who's right. going to agree to that? And then, I, 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 <laughs> and then during the show yesterday, I look over and I am seeing what looks exactly like a gay person. Porno being fucking acted out we, in our studio. If we ever released that video, it would probably do very well in the gay community. In the gay community. <laughs> At one point, they had to jerk the guy off and blow a, a double double dill, as Sal would say. <laughs> Dude, they're, they're two guys that are supposedly straight are making out with each other on their knees in front of a gay gentleman's <laughs> Everyone, dick. Everyone's jerking naked. him off and playing with his balls. It's like right. that isn't <laughs> that isn't like look at what you're doing. You're you're doing something that's kind of whoa, gay. Yeah. No, you're 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 <laughs> involved in gay sex. You're having gay sex. And, and like you said, I thought it was going to be some easy stuff. Like, all right, you're going to have to get naked in, in a room full of guys. Look out. That's kind of crazy, right? That's insane. That was like that was like stage one. Everyone got naked right away. <laughs> <laughs> Even that was weird. And, it then just... we, and then we finally had enough. And the one guy's like, no, I want to go. I want to go further. I want to continue. <laughs> what? I want to continue. <laughs> what? What? I'm the host of the show and I didn't want to continue. <laughs> I I I I don't know, man. I, I me and I had talked a bunch uh, right right before the show, trying to figure it out because we've seen so much shit doing this radio show. We've been at this for about eighteen and a half years, uh-huh. and I don't know what it was. And and we both agreed it wasn't like seeing guys naked. Who gives a fuck? I don't give a fuck if I see a guy naked. Yeah, I really don't. Fucking, yeah, it's not a yeah. I don't care. I thought the go go uh, harder guy was hilarious. I would yeah. bring him back on the show. He was that fun. He's one funny homo. Right. <laughs> Gotta say that. 
So I didn't really care. We've seen some weird shit, and yeah. and I I just couldn't wrap my head around it. Yeah. I think what I think it, I finally figured it out. There was a what bothered me <laughs> yeah. wasn't like seeing the gay stuff. Although I yeah. didn't see all of it, I was sitting here in the corner going, "Have fun, Troy," as you try to figure out what they could do next. <laughs> so I'll be honest, I didn't really care about that. I didn't. I, it finally hit me. Yeah. There was there was a desperation in the room yesterday. Yes. And that's what I went home with. I was bothered by that. I was bothered by the fact that I think there were some guys in here that really needed the bunny. Right. Really. Well, when you look at two guys that are kneeling down, <laughs> right. oh making God. out with each other oh, while a gay dancer... Rubs his dick on their faces. Right. right. Yes. Yes. And the uh, whole thing is because one of them might get fifteen hundred dollars. Fifteen hundred pre-tax. Pre-tax. So that's what eight, eight, eight fifty maybe bucks. something oh like that. My God. Yeah. It, I think it comes down to there was a desperation. Yeah. In yeah. the air. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, along with man ass in the air. Yeah, what are you going to do? I mean, I know, fuck. It's just fuck it. I mean, I could, I could sleep after seeing that shit. It, well, but I don't I mean can't... seeing it. I mean, the, the aroma that was in here. Apparently, Ron and bad? Fez came in. and Was it bad it for real? Like, he goes, yeah, it just smells like man ass in here. But we've, over the years, have had some really bad smells in here, but we don't realize it because we're still in the room. And then yeah, yeah. it's the people that come into the room that haven't been in the room in a yeah, while. They yeah. go, what the fuck are what you guys happened? doing today? What happened in here? Yeah. I have like post traumatic stress disorder from yesterday. It was as as a guy that's been on the radio for a few years and had to sit and describe. There are plenty of events we've done, and I I fancy myself, uh, uh, you know, a, a professional at describing what's going on, like a sporting no, event. You fancy when yourself we've done that. in uh, visualizing, right? Right. As, right. as they say, painting the picture. Painting the picture. In the past, we've had some outrageous things go on, and and I kind of like doing it like a sports announcer. Yeah, it's our kind of a thing. It's fun that way. It's our job to describe what yeah. the fuck's happening because you only hear our voices. I was completely out of the mix yesterday. I couldn't say anything, but I was looking. There were these just gaps of silence from me. And then I'd look at Opie and just go, I can't even. And yeah. I couldn't even, like, finish what I was trying to say. Yeah, I was. Uh, out of it. I was very bothered by yesterday. Out of it, yes. <laughs> there, were, there were a lot of times where there was a show going on over here. Yeah. And you two were just going back and forth just talking about how you can't believe you. Yeah, well, I, we were I, talking I, about the lesbian I couch. Oh. And, and it brings position. up. Yeah, it brings up the lesbian couch. And I go. Uh, and that's been gone for about 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we yeah. lost that 10 years ago. 10 years ago. We really did used to have a lesbian couch. And this was on regular radio, by the way. Another bit we're uh, not really allowed to do on satellite radio. I'm not bitching. I'm just telling you. Yeah. And uh, we would have girls that really wanted their, to have a lesbian experience. And it got so crazy. We were doing it pretty much every Friday. Yeah. And we had a, an official lesbian couch. And when we got fired, we actually, I think we actually dragged it out of the building and gave it to somebody. Yeah, I think we did, yeah. When we gave away our <laughs> office that day. Yep. <laughs> Someone actually uh, has that, too. <laughs> uh, and then we tried to bring it back when we first came to the satellite. We had a lesbian couch at the old joint before they remodeled. And then now we, we went bye-bye. Bye. homosexual studio. No, 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 The whole stat, like all of us, were just sitting here all afternoon Sal was all fucked up. <laughs> Troy had to go home early. Troy left early? Yeah. yeah, he was. Troy was so fucked up after yesterday. Well, where is he? He's here already. Yeah. And I want to talk to Sal because I, I believe Sal was fucked up. He was Everyone fucked acts up. like Sal it was goes, the nom. Like they yeah. all got home from yeah. the nom. And, and, but, <laughs> yeah, this is something that we're only going to be able to talk about we're, with but, each uh, other. We're a band of brothers. <laughs> yeah. But I'll say it again. We have seen some uh, extremely weird yeah. stuff in the studio. Yes. And I, I think I finally can nail it down for everybody. The, it, the, the desperation in the air was yeah. what bothered everybody. But, but we've the had, one dude, guy goes, I don't want to stop. I'm like, what? Dude, the thing is, we've had severe... <laughs> you you have to want to stop. We've had desperation in the studio before with, with girls that have you know done the pick up the money with their twat thing and right. remember, they needed money for Christmas presents, mm -hmm. whatever it was. We've had that desperation. This was the desperation plus there was this other underlying... Well, thing that men don't do. Right. That's what it was, and right. it was all of it together made this I, the most uncomfortable thing I've ever been involved with. But I fully believe now that if you go to prison, you will make out with guys. Oh, you'll have you some will gay blow sex. guys. You will do whatever the fuck. You'll have gay sex. And in a way, I don't think you're gay. 
I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> that was an because, experiment. It was a social experiment yesterday. Because a lot of people are saying those guys had to be closeted homosexuals. Yeah. I, best of my knowledge, I, I don't know. I don't think so. Dude, no. I, I didn't think they were, like, uh, closeted homosexuals. Well, that was, that and that's... The other, what? That was the other part that was so bad. Yeah. Was that, like, even with, like, Money Honey and stuff like that, there's an element that eventually most of the girls go, okay, at least in the moment, this is kind of fun and crazy. Yeah. All those guys... Every ounce of their being was either you could see it in their eyes. They were mentally <laughs> they, somewhere else. They completely. did. Lo it looked like that. Their eyes, right. had the thousand mile stare of, yeah. right. of like I'm just going to a different place. Right. I'm going to get through this. Yeah, and it was uh, psychotic. Yeah. And it, then it was. And it was against their will. And, yes, they and, did not look. And we happy. didn't. We didn't describe the women uh, well enough. Uh, the wives, they were bothered. They were trying not oh, to yeah. be bothered. They were trying not to look bothered, but they were bothered. Oh, Even the ones yeah. that were laughing. Yeah. That was just for the, that was for show. Yeah. They were absolutely crying on the inside because how yeah. can you look at your husband right. after oh, doing the God. actions that you just saw him doing? How could you look at Tr him like that? Oh. Tr Troy. Troy. What, uh, yeah, go ahead. Troy. How, how you doing? Ah, oh, man. That was that was raw. I mean, I've seen <laughs> look. <laughs> I've, I've been through some shit in my life, yeah. man. That was pretty dark. I, I guess it came across funny over the air. That's what I hear. Because yeah. I got a lot of positive feedback from how funny it was. But in here, I didn't really think it was that funny. It was just kind of like... Did you, did you feel like there was a desperation in the, air, in the yeah. air and that's what was bothersome? Yeah. You knew it wasn't a bunch of guys like... Like, I believe, you know, Troy is absolutely down for whatever. And he could sure. go home knowing that, you know, he didn't do anything. Yeah. That he didn't want to do, right. but I don't think I really don't think you're gay. But you did some really gay things yesterday, well, uh, if that makes sense. Yeah. But but those guys aren't down for what other, they're not down <laughs> for whatever guys. <laughs> right, right. Right. They right. were guys that a, a few of them it seemed like wanted, needed, or wanted the money. Needed badly. the money. Troy had fun with it though. Right. That, that's the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Heather Hyatt and the guy I think his name is uh, Dave. Dave yeah. Well, they, they didn't care. Well, they, you know, they, they're doing their own podcast. She's a stand-up comic. They were looking for a little attention for their stuff. So, yeah. I, 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 him, I didn't, I wasn't bothered by either because I knew he was just trying to get some of his plugs in. Yeah, I, I kind of looked at it like they, the, all the guys were super fans, and they wanted to just be here in your guys' presence, Oof. and they didn't care what they had to do to get to that point, and they had just convinced their girls that they should have just waited for the next car crash comedy. It was just... yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll bring Come that in, one back eventually. Tell yeah. some jokes <laughs> and, and, with clothes on. Yes, and you could always tell if uh, if the women are into the show or not. And I would one definitely Heather Height, and maybe one other, yeah. maybe two of the yeah. wives had pretty much no idea oh, what we were about. Man, yeah. no, um, Lon, which makes it worse. Into the show. Lon is? Yeah. Yeah. She emailed me afterwards. She had a great time. Oh, good. Yeah, no, she did. She really had a, a, a very good time. Yeah, she did. Yeah, that was a little weird. What was the worst thing you saw yesterday, Troy? Just towards the end where we're trying to, like, up the ante as high as we could go. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we're like, look, the next level after this is getting, <laughs> someone's going to get fucked in their ass or have to take a I pop just, shot. I we said saying, before the show. If there wasn't <coughs> a, a rule. If management didn't have the no penetration and stuff, we were at the yeah. old studio. absolutely they would, would have fucked. been oral sex going on, and then and then ass fucking yes. would have been going on for fifteen hundred dollars. Yes. You know so that, you, at that point, these guys are are, are prostitutes, right? You They're pimping mean, themselves was, out for a few bucks. The worst thing yeah. that I saw huh. was right before the guy put the oil on his ass and tried to rub it on the dick before it, it that wasn't the worst thing right it, it was right before that when that guy started his freestyle round yeah because gogo -Go was sitting in the chair with his legs spread obviously completely nude yeah. right and the guy went over to him and with one hand had, was pulling on his dick he was making direct eye contact yeah with yeah him. yeah that was but creepy what really bugged me was what he did with his left hand he got on top of gogo -Go, and scooped under his ass cheek, so he was like holding him up, and like manhandling him while he was tugging his dick and making eye contact. Like it was, it was what happens in a gay man's bedroom. So. It was gay sex. That was bad. And what awful hand jobs. <laughs> the worst. That, that's the type of thing. I, and that's what the prison aspect comes into play. Because right. you know, if a guy like they were doing it for fifteen hundred bucks, mm. this is the same thing a guy has to do for his dinner. Or for not getting shanked <laughs> right, like right. in prison. So you get that same lack of enthusiasm. It's not this loving gay scene in prison. There's a guy just half assed like jerking a guy off. That's what was so disturbing about it. I, there was no real want 
to do the. I, I think we owe Go Go Harder an, uh, a good hand job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a trooper. He was, he was a cool guy. He was. I, after, I talked to him after the show, and he was like, "Oh, is everything okay?" I was like, "Yeah, he you was were great, man." There was an. I appreciate Funny Man. He was funny. Yeah, he was. He's yeah. a funny guy. On Twitter, overwhelmingly. Like um, a, amount of praise for him. Like everyone loved him. Well, he he's gay, and he Hysterical. was funny, he's and he crazy. wasn't here. Like he wasn't doing anything that he doesn't want to do. He right. walks in and right. goes, "So should I just like get naked now?" <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the difference. He <laughs> right. wasn't That's doing anything difference. that he didn't want to do. Yeah. All the other guys were. I, and do I, you think that when you see a guy like with a goatee and a shaved head, and he's just making out with another <laughs> f- fucking flabby guy, and it's just, it was, that part was so disturbing. <laughs> well, you heard Sal. It's against their natural instincts. Yeah. Sal started rubbing himself down with Clorox wipes, saying that he felt a man's goatee in his asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Sal, how, how are you feeling today? And I, I you know... I'll break down some walls. I, I really believe you were disturbed yesterday I, when we were talking this morning. The bronzer uh, came. Uh, no, it looks kind of good. Nicely on your it's, face. It's, it's, it's not streaky on your face. No, you, you look, look like uh, you look like you have you a slight like, tan. You're back from Florida. It's so blotchy <laughs> on his arms. My, my legs. It's just completely stained. Still. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, 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 it just looks it's like wood stain. Bad. So someone what, brushed it on your legs. I got like a. So what's your thoughts from yesterday? I, I was. By the way, I still think you're gay, I, but I think yesterday was just yeah, right. too I mean, much for you. Yeah, yes. Um, yesterday, I, I was so <laughs> so out of it and so disturbed yesterday when I got yeah. home. I was like, I I was emotionally drained. It was just awful. It was really. Does your mom though. listen to the show? I told her not to listen yesterday. Oh, <laughs> she good. does. I, yeah, I was like, just lots of gay shit went on. Don't listen. <clears throat> and she's like, okay. So. Do you know, I went home I and slept yeah. until six p.m. Mm-hmm. I was exhausted because, like, I was emotionally exhausted for seeing something that is so, like, just well reprehensible. And it's not the idea of the gay gayness that it was. It was that there were heterosexual guys that have a natural aversion to gay sex. And I don't mean hearing about it or knowing other guys do it, but being involved in it. Having As it. a heterosexual male, you have an aversion to participating in gay sex. It's what every heterosexual man fears about prison and things like that. Right. And there they were, placed in a, a, a situation where they had to engage in it, and it permeated the room in this uncomfortable feeling that everybody felt. Right. And, and, and when I left this studio, uh, not quickly enough, uh, because I wanted out of here at 10, and we stayed on until almost <laughs> 11, I got in the truck, and I'm driving home, and I'm just like... The, I felt filthy. Yeah, filthy. Well, yeah. well, that that leads me to the next thing because you got out of here. Yes. Right after oh, the thank show. God, because from what I heard. <laughs> so then I'm. Uh, <clears throat> I stayed a little later than that, and I was like trying to film some dumb, dopey video, um, kind of around the corner here. The guy wasn't naked or anything. It was something <laughs> completely different. And uh, all of a sudden, Sal brought one of the contestants over. He want to say goodbye. Uh huh. I'm like, oh, yeah, what's up? And I see him walking toward me and his wife. I don't want to mention which guy. You probably can figure it out on yeah. your own. And his wife is hysterically crying. Oh, boy. Yeah, hysterically I... crying. And I'm like, whoa, what, what's going on? And she goes, like sobbing. Uncontrollably crying. Holy He's shit. holding her tight. Like, holy. It's going to be okay. Like, they had some incredible tragedy in their lives. Which I guess they did, obviously. Worse yeah. than most. I go, what's what's going on? What the what's what what the? She goes, uh, he told me to not stop him no matter what. Oh, and she wanted to at some point. Yeah, I she wanted him out of the scene way earlier than than he. And he, she wanted to, but then she had to watch him doing yes, horrific because things they had a conversation. Man, they had a conversation before the bit. Where he said to her, no matter what, do not tap out. I, I, I want and need to win this thing. Oh that's where, oh and my. that's the, that's what I felt in the air. And oh, that when, desperation. When I, when I finally figured out in my own stupid brain that there was a weird desperation uh, attached to what we were seeing yesterday. <laughs> oh, and I, I can't speak for the guy. If he wants to talk on the show about it, that's fine. But it seems to me that they really, really needed the money. There's, Badly. There's got to be some shit you could sell on eBay or something. Wow. <laughs> That'd be an alternative. Right? So I, you know, I mean, mm. I'm not an asshole my, the entire day. 
maybe a couple <laughs> hours on the radio every day, but I don't live my life like that. I think a lot of people are starting to figure that out. So I'm like, I go into, let's try to fix this mode. I'm like, look, man, you know, it was all just fun. Hey. It's for the radio. I'm, pl I'm playing that shit. Meanwhile, you probably looked like your eyes looked like, look, oh, my God, no, this wasn't fun. I'm like, don't worry about it. It was all just for fun. There was <clears> nothing <throat> crazy in there. It's just for the radio. We're just having a good time, you know, just trying to, like, soften it up a little bit. But in my... In my head, I have all the visions, uh, uh, visuals of this guy fucking oh. jerking off this guy <laughs> and making worst. out with the other guy. Jimmy, Jimmy spoke to them, and Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy spoke to him as well. Jimmy did a good job with, with yeah, you know, helping. Well, he didn't do a Maybe. good job because she was still crying when she got to me. Because I know Jimmy left before I did. They're in a lot of trouble. Do you know how long it took Jess? To get over the idea that Bob Kelly had kissed me as a goof. Oh my god! Really? And that was, and she didn't see it, and it was nothing. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Okay. And that was just, she had to sit there. Yeah. Watch her husband jerk off a homosexual man mm -hmm. with lotion, making out with another, with other, with multiple men. Men. Right. Nude. Multiple, nude. <laughs> multiple nude men. Yeah, multiple. Nude that's men. Right. Uh, it it has to destroy. Wasn't what, uh, a, a, a woman uh, to see that? Wasn't there a point Troy's asshole was on the guy's nose with his fucking balls on his yes, eyes? Yes, yeah. his nose was absolutely yeah. up so Troy's asshole. All this shit was going down as I'm trying to calm her down, and then they yeah. walked off. They pretty much limped away. Yeah, yeah. It's I not good. And I, then I'm like, oh my god, those guys really needed the money. That's the yeah, the desperation part. And that, that's what I took home with me, and I was really depressed. When they were kneeling down, fucking making out with each other, <laughs> as, as a gay man is smacking their face and the top of their heads with his dick. Yeah. I was just looking over going, that's it. I, I can't. <laughs> I fucking can't even describe this. Let me, uh, I need to go. And then I got down to the truck outside, yeah. and Kenny pulled my truck up, and he gets out, and I go, all right, take it easy, Kenny. goes, now go home and jerk off. See, he, <laughs> <laughs> but he's the... As funny as that is... I, I, it I was gotta, hilarious. As funny as that is, I got to bring into something. <laughs> Kenny will... And Sam knows this as well. Kenny will come up with one good line, and then he feeds it to everybody. Everyone? Because guess what? He said that to you? It was the exact same line, so yeah. he couldn't wait to tell me that <laughs> as I opened my door. Hey, if it works. Keep so using annoying. it. But, Keep but, using it. But I think we're just <clears throat> having a conversation, yeah. but in his head, he has a couple programmed <clears throat> lines, lines that he wants to fucking tell everybody. Jess and me get the same texts from him. Yeah. It's the same joke. We live in the same house. <laughs> right. At the same you... time. Hey, look, I got a text from Kenny. Oh, what does it say? <laughs> Yeah, uh, we got Heather Height. She's one of the wives of uh, one of the guys from yesterday, oh. uh, Dave's wife there. Heather, what's up? Hey, um, you were saying before about Dave and I, we do the podcast and stuff, so we're probably all right. We just want to get our plugs in. Yeah. And we thought that, too. And then last night, we were laying in bed, going to sleep, and I was like, I kind of feel, I feel a little damaged. Oh, oh no. wow! If Heather's Hold on. damaged, yeah, because Heather, I, I mean, we know a little bit about you over the years, and uh, yeah. you guys are down for some whatever stuff, right? Yeah, usually. Yeah, but you were even damaged. Yeah, I think the problem is, like Ann was saying, like with two heterosexual guys that are just so adverse to it, it was so uncomfortable. It was like a relief when Gogo -Go got there. Right. You know? It was a relief when the gay guy got here. Thank God there's a gay guy here for this gay stuff. You know? <laughs> because when Sal was doing stuff, it was like <clears throat> watching two people rape each other. Like they're just <laughs> both getting raped. <laughs> like nobody wants to be raped, right. but they're just still doing oh it. It's just two people <laughs> getting raped with each other. Oh, you know? my God. It absolutely, there's an aversion to... to heterosexual men having to engage in gay sex. Sorry, gay people. That's just the way it is. Uh, when 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 you're watching a, a movie where there's two gay guys, and I'm not talking porno or anything, just, you know, your mainstream movies, like uh, like uh, that Brokeback Mountain. And yeah. uh, when when there's this kissing going on and, and hugging and caressing, there's something, really bad there's about the something kissing. disturbing to heterosexual men about that. Uh, you could call it homophobic, but it's not homophobia. Uh, you could be totally open to guys doing whatever they want to do if they're gay. But as a heterosexual man, you are going to look at that, and there is going to be some natural kind of 
pull back, you're going to go like, ah, recoil. Yeah. Especially when you realize it's your mouth doing it. Right. Yeah. Now, then now take that feeling that you get just looking at it. And now, make you got to do it. Right. <laughs> You're sitting there kissing another man. Heather, what was the worst part for you <clears throat> that Dave the, did? The worst part was the uh, the double toe suck, kiss up the thighs thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about that I, one. I love when people have to describe some Isn't of this terrible from yesterday. <laughs> it's just terrible. And fucking Troy. <laughs> Heather, was it? Troy the- has an imagination. He's like, okay. How about, all right, the double dill. They got to give the double yeah. dill head while they caress each other's backs and jerk the guy off. How about we try that one? Troy was throwing out <laughs> suggestions. Oh, yeah, left, left and right. right. He's well, crazy, was like a that, director. Well, As they were kneeling in front of the guy, yeah. Troy was the one who said, all right, one of you grab his balls <laughs> and the other one pull the shaft. <laughs> and so they're sitting there. One guy has his hand on the balls. The other guy has his hand on the dick. And they're kneeling, and they're all naked, and the two heterosexuals are kissing each other while they're playing with the other <laughs> guy's dick. Holy shit. That's yeah, I kinda, crazy. I figured we just got to make sure we elevate this as high as we but can go. Troy's That's, a great homosexual puppet master. Oh, yeah. That's it's, what happened to Troy. While he was in the room, it was like, we're all here in this environment. <laughs> yeah. And then when he left the room, part of it was like... Yes. Like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. Uh, I was involved in that. You yeah. know what it was, too? It was the, the sort of, relatively speaking, gradual buildup to the real horrific stuff. It went quickly and stuff. But <clears throat> to just have Sal tickling the guys, that's how it starts. It's a goof. And it was a goof. It was like, just for them to take their shirt off, it was like, oh, boy, this is crazy. And then it ends up pretty much just gay sex uh, with nude men. Um, but it's in this room where it started that way and gradually built up. The second you walk out of that door, you're out of this this microcosm where it was something almost okay because it's a radio thing. But once you left... You have to leave with all that baggage yeah, now. I, and I, uh, I have never listened to Al Q, but I pretty much can guarantee. <laughs> yeah, you already know what I'm going to say. Yep. That we went way gayer than they way. ever have. I could guarantee that without even ever hearing right. Mark Al Q Zito, and what they do. Mark Zito wanted to see a little bit of the video. Did he? And I was like, okay. And I just kind of flipped the camera around and showed him what happened. And as I was. Watching it and showing it to him, it was like, oh, my God, like, this happened. <laughs> it's not like a made-up thing. Like, this happened. It's, I'm it's, watching it. It's, yeah. yeah, it shows like that, that I don't even, I don't want to see Ron Bennington in the hall. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you kind of turn around and take oh, the, other way, or the other hallway yeah, to but the Fez, elevator. Fest came off to me afterwards. He was, oh, yeah. he was pretty much cool with the whole thing. He yeah. said to me. He was reciting some of the lines he heard that he, he thought knew. was funny. Yeah. He said, the gays won. Yes. And I said... I mean, we weren't really competing with gays. Right. There was one gay guy in the room for for forty five minutes of the whole thing. Yeah, pretty I'm much. I'm not even sure if he technically won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heather, anything else? I just wanted to mention the thing with with Troy was that like I was I was rooting for him. Like he'd come up with something, I'd be like, Yeah, yeah, good, that's good, and then I'd be like, Oh, whoa, wait, wait. They got to do that now, though. <laughs> hey, hold, hold on. I think your husband's on the line as well. Oh. I guess you guys don't live with each other anymore. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you threw me out. I'm, I'm, I'm living on the streets now. Hey, Dave, you uh, officially won the gay off. Yes. Uh, I, I'm holding my head high today. I, uh, we should have had a trophy like, made. We should have yeah. had a trophy. Well, like penis. Well, that would have ended up. Have yeah. 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 That double donger, it would have been great. So what's going on with you today, Dave? Um, I'm kind of coping with the post-traumatic stress, but uh, yeah. we, we laughed about it for hours afterwards. It was hilarious. Oh, you better laugh. I don't know. Heather was, Heather's a little bothered. Smile. Heather's, she's a little bothered today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if uh, Steven Singer wants to gold dip that double dong, that'd be cool. Oh, well, oh, that would be a go. pleasure to have that on the mantle. I love that we had a that we held up Steven Singer for what twelve hundred bucks. We had to. We absolutely <laughs> held him up. He couldn't say no. No, no. But if he's listening, we we're in a desperate spot. That's why we did it on we'll, the air, by the way. Yeah, we'll make it up to you somehow. But we're in a, a very desperate spot. Gave him a friggin' live commercial right there when we were trying to get money out of him. Yep. <laughs> yep. I kept offering the other guy. I kept telling him, 
look, let's it's just down to you and me. Let's tap out. We'll split first and second prize. Let's let's end this. And he didn't want to end it. No, he he. Uh, I think he's on the line. We'll talk to him in a second here. Oh boy, if he's listening. Stay there. We'll get to you. Yeah, he didn't want to tap out. And he was the one that had the the wife after the uh, show oh, falling hysterically. Yeah. Oh, you guys saw her crying too. Yeah. What was she yeah. saying to you guys? She didn't say much of anything until she was speaking to all three of us, and she had calmed down. I said, "Are you all right?" And then she slowly just broke down again and started crying. <laughs> Holy shit! And you heard what she said. She <laughs> said, "I was told not to tap out, no matter yeah. what." <laughs> yeah, because if so you, the the wives could have tapped out for their guys. Yeah, yeah, there's no way I was going to tap out for Dave. I was... <laughs> no, no, Heather's a sadistic bitch. She was not going to tap out for me for nothing. So, Dave, what was the worst part for you? Uh, worst part was the kissing. Oh, <sighs> fucking worst. There's a lot of it, too. Yeah, oh, there was a lot of that. Oh, <laughs> that, go- that, that, was, that was harder. That is worse than jerking off the guy. How weird is that? When Gogo <laughs> went in and started kissing him on the neck, I think that was when it was like really bad for me. Yeah, it that started was like, getting you know real. What? That was that was like a there was a moment was where a where it became like, oh my god, this is actually happening. When Gogo was naked, and he was like, who are the girls on the couch? And they were like, oh, those are our wives. And Gogo goes, oh. Well, in that case, and he just started passionately making out with them, <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, shit just got really real in here." This is how this is how like those those hazings go. I bet where you end up in jail because someone died <laughs> or someone got fucking raped or something. As it's happening, it's like, "Hey, this is whatever it is," and then, and then someone must look over and go. Wow, this is really getting a little much. Mm. Yeah. And then this is you're like sitting very in, bad things when they kill the yeah, stripper. <laughs> yeah. And then you're just sitting in prison going, What happened? Yeah. What the fuck happened? We were what? Yeah. <clears throat> just terrible. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Dave or Heather? <sighs> no, uh, okay. no, I just want to thank Stephen Singer for uh, my blood money. Um, <laughs> Oof. Yeah. It, I, it, 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 it will be spent in, in good health on ADP and other, you know, well, I hope I uh, hope you have fun with that. All right. Thank Thanks, you, guys. guys. Thank uh, you, know what, Singer. All right. You know what one of the worst hey, parts was? Dave. Yeah. Yes, Travis. Is that this was a Wednesday show. <laughs> like, we couldn't just, like... We had to come back. Yeah, like, we couldn't yeah. take the three-day weekend. Back to the to, scene like, of the crime. Like when yeah. they had to go back to the church in Platoon. No, this, yeah. is, this is therapy, though. I think <laughs> this. There's still like, two more days of this, work. This is like yeah. being in a meeting. Let's get it out. <laughs> Support. Iraq! He rock Why haven't you talked yet? Because he's jerking off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, I, the, when it, it really got bad for me. I mean, besides everything they were doing, but when he first came in, and he's Go-Go? he's nuzzling. Yeah, Gogo came in. He's nuzzling the guys next. They're all just standing there. But he gets to the last dude. He's holding the one guy's hand and rubbing the wedding ring while he's fondling oh, right. the guy's genitals. <laughs> <laughs> That's and that's when I'm like, this is not going well. Oh, Jesus. He's rubbing his dick in wedding ring at the same time. Oh, yes, God. So fucking weird yesterday. It's basically, I mean, it's it's coming on your vows, you know what I mean? It's oh, like, I would have to, God. I would have to sit down and think about f- for an hour or so. I'm trying to think if that was the craziest, weirdest show we've ever done. Yes. The wor- yeah, but then when you start writing shit out, you go, wait a minute, Man. then there was the time... No, that was the biggest aversion I've ever had to anything that was going on in the studio. Yeah, it's probably weirdest show ever. Iraq. If you ever needed a conclusion to your book, I think yesterday's show. Oh God, it's when we decided to quit radio. Everybody, <laughs> that's, <laughs> it. that's it. We all went our own way. Yeah, <laughs> you it was really... never the same after that day. You really think those guys would have uh, taken a dick in their ass for the contest? Oh, yeah. yeah, someone would have yeah. taken a dick in their ass. They absolutely would have been uh, oral. Yeah. Just, they, they would have gone down on each other. Or you know what? It just it just was terrible. The dude who who told his wife not to tab out. Yeah. Would have taken. I think he would have taken. Yeah. Wait, well, well, if need say, be. If need be. Well, he's on the line. Let's talk, oh, boy. Let's talk to him. Hey, buddy. Do you want your name hey. out there? I, I'll just say John. I'm fine with that. All right, John. What's up, buddy? So, so uh, you and your wife came up to me after the show, and she was hysterical. Yeah. So yeah. walk us through. What was uh, going on? Was, she was upset that, you know, I, I wouldn't let her tap out. Uh, she felt like she was powerless, and she was also upset, like, how can they do that on the radio? And that was... She should be management. Yeah. yeah. So it was a very quiet, you know, 
two to three hour ride home. Oh, oh was it? Uh, what what was said? Not much. She she wouldn't tell me what she was thinking at all. She just kept saying, I, I want to focus on driving. I want to focus on driving. Oh, boy. And yeah, I mean, we had dinner together. Uh, oh. it was, Did you have the kielbasa? <laughs> no. I can absolutely say that I would not have taken a dick. I would not have blown a dick. Oh. Yeah, but you yeah. probably would have said yesterday that you wouldn't have, like, oiled up your asshole and rubbed it on a dick. Like, weird stuff yeah, was going on yesterday, dude, and I don't blame you. Probably, I I think that... you know, on Tuesday, you probably would have said, right. I'm never going to jerk, jerk off, off a, a man guy. while I'm kissing another right. man. You know, so you can't say. There's a weird place so, in here. Yeah, so she was hysterical because she couldn't tap out for you. And, I mean, what's the deal? Is there a money issue in your family? Yeah, um, well... We have our daughter, uh, 13 months old, oh. and she takes a lot of money. I have multiple sclerosis, so I've oh. run up a, a fair amount of medical bills myself. Oh, Jesus. You don't look like that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I've had it for... Oh, Jesus. I was actually diagnosed about three months after Who we got knows? married back right. in 2008. Oh, right. my goodness. So, 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 um, so you need the money for what? Well, a lot of stuff. You know, I, we're, we're just in credit card debt. And I honestly viewed yesterday's show as a job. And I would have done whatever was needed to get the money for the sake of a job. Uh huh. You know, I, I, I kind of. Well, what else would you have done if we kept the contest going? To be honest, I almost tapped out when we were going to lick armpits. Right. Whoa. Because, that was nothing. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah, well, we look back. Is, Jesus, looking it was, back, right? It was using your mouth, <clears throat> yeah, and like your tongue specifically. And the only other thing throughout the entire show that like you had to use your tongue, which you know, in my mind, I, I thought of like eating something, was when I had to lick his leg before the kiss because none of the kisses were tongue kisses, you know, nothing like that. Putting a, a double dong with a condom in your mouth that that's nothing, that's just in your mouth. His toes in your mouth, you're not even licking the toes. You're just kind of putting them in your mouth. So uh, that was the whole thing was just, I, I, it was like an oral thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like him touching me with his dick and everything, it was just skin. And that's what I just kept telling myself is it's nothing. It's just skin. Yeah. I kind of. Uh, huh. So how's, how's, okay. the, how's the wife doing? She she's asleep right now. I'm at work. Oh yeah. Wait. So how did you guys end it last night? She went off to bed. I actually uh, I had to take my medicine uh, for MS, which I take once a week. Mm -hmm. So I took that, and it knocks me out. So that was it. It how was it was a very uh, cold evening. Mm. As far as not much talking. Oh, yeah, huh? I was huh? just about to ask, without getting too personal, how are things with him and his wife physically? Because Yeah, well, any, spo any that... spooning last night? Was there any spooning in bed? No, no, to be honest. Oh. Usually, any time I do my medicine, it, it's just uh, right to bed. Mm -hmm. Is, um, are you guys going to be all right? Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, I don't see a terrible thing happening. I may have to talk to her a lot but she's she's good at hiding her emotions for the most part except when she breaks out into tears <clears throat> mm, which we all saw yesterday that shit she's, got she's real man in the past. yeah like i was driving around the corner from my house uh, she was in the passenger seat and i took a turn a little too quick in the rain and my car spun oh. and she was in that same panic because she felt helpless that's that's the whole thing is she breaks down when she feels helpless well, that was pretty helpless there yesterday. Yeah, I, I was almost breaking down, uh, yeah. crying. Yesterday's uh, show. Once I left, uh, well, how are you guys going to get money for your bills and everything else you're dealing with? Just keep working. That's all we can do. <laughs> and we'll have the event next year. Obviously. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Jesus, no, 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 that no, no, no. is it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. For Holy that. fuckaroni! We officially say goodbye to the gay. That's it. The gay is done on this show. Yes. Anyone that brings it up, anyone that brings up another event or something, mm -hmm. uh, it ain't gonna happen. We went out. We went out with a bang. We certainly <laughs> did. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Almost is right. Almost.
But John, you just didn't want to tap out, and you and at the end there, you're like, no, man, I want to keep going. I was in it for the money. But we ran out of stuff to do. Yeah, <laughs> it really came down to hey, it, we did every single thing, but fucking, but but fucking. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I like. I would have taken a dildo or something. <gasps> what in your butt? Know. In your ass? Yeah. Why not? Sure. But uh, I, I was in it for the money. I, I wanted the money because it would greatly help us. Yeah. yeah. I assume it's going to be a weird Valentine's Day for you guys. Uh yeah. The weirder thing was her parents called on Skype last night. From where? Japan. Yeah, yeah. Her whole family is in Japan. Hello. And? They got serious um, XM online. Oh, boy. Well, I, I I sit there, but she speaks Japanese and I don't. Uh -oh. So they were talking nonstop, and, you know, she wouldn't tell me what they were talking about. Oh, oh man. no. Did you hear? Oh, don't watch coming to watch our homo. Ah, go on, I got a jerky dicky. Ah, who talking to you? Ah, go on, I got a bro job. Yeah. And then after... Oil a bottle. Nose in as a whore. Yeah, but then... After, yeah, but then... Yeah. Yeah. After the Skype, her grandfather called about a, a half hour later. And they Ugh. talked for another hour. And she still wouldn't tell me what it was. She just said, oh, he just wanted to talk. So, Very dishonorable. He, he fucking, yeah. on Skype, he committed Harry Carey. Right. He fucking took a samurai sword and disemboweled himself <laughs> on Skype. Probably just planning her return trip home. Uh, yeah. Anything else, John? Well, he a very nice man. He get blowjobs on Park <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah. I, I view it like uh, being in the military and having to shoot someone and not... not you know, not being interested in killing someone. Yeah, there you go. All right. You it's just you like it. For your job. Just like it. Yeah. So American I hero. what I had to for sure. the job. All right, buddy. Well, thanks for participating. Right. I'm sorry your wife cried, certainly. Yes, we, konnichiwa. That wasn't our goal yesterday. Well, our our goal was to kind of keep it fun, and it got, shit got real in here. And then it got really real after the show when, when I realized she was really damaged by the whole thing. Well, thank you for the money. I, I we do oh. appreciate that. Oh, right. the money! Yeah, the evil, evil money. Yep. All right, man. All right. Thank, got speed Bye. there, Jen. All right, there goes John. Yesterday, afterward, he tried to give me a vial of his empty medicine jar. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Why? I have no idea. He was probably trying to like show that he. Hey, look! I need money. I didn't know he he was sick. I have no he idea. Didn't look, he didn't look sick at all. He's like, I want you to have this, and I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. <laughs> For yeah. You to have. Did you take it. I just checked. Nope. Uh, I just checked Twitter. One guy goes, I was, I was. At first, I was annoyed that we weren't picked for the gay off. However, very <laughs> relieved that we were. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that's it's like funny. you dodged the bullet there, isn't it? And then Vince A on Twitter, uh, I could see the ONA movie opening with yesterday's show with a voiceover. How did it all get to here? <laughs> <laughs> it was fucking brutal. You got to give it to all those girls were cute. Hmm? I mean, it was nice to have a couple cute girls in the room. That helped out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, in that situation, did it help yeah, at all? Yeah. How much did it help? They, they, Stop. Yeah, yeah, they were cute because, to you because they were horrified. It's like a tsunami coming in and going, thank God we have the bucket to bail the house out. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's, uh, that's great that that helped. Anything else? Exhausted. Yeah, yeah, that was... Uh... I've never been more affectionate with Jess than last night trying to was... cleanse myself. <laughs> yeah, was that it? We had to be physically intimate. You had to? Had to. Yeah. She texted me asking how the gay off went in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And I knew that <laughs> this is how I know that people have a lot to deal with now because she wrote, uh, I said, hey, you know, long day. And she was like, oh, I bet it was a long day. Ha, ha, ha. And then I said, it got so weird. And then she wrote back, oh, I believe it. You're playing with fire. What happened? Who did you kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Like, how funny. did how did everyone no deal with it? Oh, what, Opie, what did you do when you um, uh, got home? Like to I was just to deal with it. I was just mad. You were mad because I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So you were angry. 
I was just mad. Uh, Troy, then, but what? then you know, because I left. Well, I, I, and seeing the the wife cry, that shit. Yeah, gets you me. saw that. Yeah, that shit. Believe it or not, uh, you know, I'm gets glad. me. Yeah, I was like, fuck. The guy was in here for it wasn't for a fun radio bit. He was in here because they're desperate for money. I'm glad I ran the fuck out of here, man. Dude, if you saw this, <laughs> oh, I know, I, I know you're a cold-hearted oh, son of a bitch. A but I'll tell you, man, I think that one would have got to you. Oh, that would have been bad. It was brutal. He was holding on to her tight because she was. It looked like because I have unfortunately seen a couple of these over the years. It looked like she was ready to have a, a complete and utter nervous breakdown. Wow. And I'm like, holy fuck, calm her down, calm her down. It was just fun. It was for the radio. Don't worry. How, he didn't um, really, I go, he didn't really do anything that crazy. Oh, and, and like no. I said, I, I have the pictures in my head of this guy fucking <laughs> jerking off uh, the gay performer. That ham-handed, half-assed hand job. Yeah. Oh, that so just was fucking. So it's like plastic. it's just rubbing the head of the guy's dick between his thumb and right. forefinger. Right. Waka waka yeah. waka and, waka. And then I just finally tweeted. I said, "Hey, sorry, I've been in hibernation all day." And then, of course, the dumb fucking Twitter haters. Uh, you were in hibernation because you're embarrassed. What the Philly crew would think. <laughs> I read every tweet in that voice now, by the way. I'm like, and I would love to write these guys back, but it's, at this point, you're, it's just nonsense. The Philly crew, which I don't really say as much anymore, wouldn't give a fuck. What, uh, what did you do, Troy? I when went you home and jerked off to porno. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. For real? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's funny. Yeah. yeah. Straight porno. A little straight porno. Yeah. Good. What about uh, Sal? <laughs> Sal, how did you handle uh, the uh, aftermath? I, I, yeah, I had a pretty like depressing day. I went home. I took a shower. Yeah. Well, uh, I, did I, you I, curl up in the like, fetal <laughs> position by, by the drain, crying like Ace Ventura? <laughs> and, and <laughs> the water pouring off me was just brown. It was awful. Oh, yeah. I, you were bummed you weren't the one sitting in the lounge yep. chair. <laughs> yeah. You brought that home with you. Yeah, bummed I, out. Yeah, I did yeah. missed a great opportunity. All that attention, go go. Yeah. Go. I, I did a lot of drinking actually by yeah, myself. Yeah. I, uh, I drink had, it, my God. Yeah, I was I was really depressed. I washed my hands probably no joke probably about fifteen well, times. Well, that that shame will never wash yeah. off. That's uh, a and, that's a problem. And I, I did jerk off later on in the evening just just to get it out, not to anything any memory. It's, well, of course. What did you, you jerk you off to? Some, some Go tell me right now. Uh, I forgot. I think it was. Oh, uh, 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 oh no. boy! I forgot. Oh, God. I forgot. Troy, what does that mean? I, I, I mean, I, everybody I knows what that means. He, he was turned on oh, by no. what was happening yesterday and had to fucking oh. get a batch out. I think it just may have added it to, to the confusion that he's yeah. already got going on. Like I'll I said you, yesterday, don't wait ten years like Fez did. Go, go harder. Don't wait oh, fucking ten. I'll tell you what no. he jerked off to in three words. The first two are go and go. Ah, oh, oh, there boy. it is. Just there said it is. the same fucking joke twice. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? Travis, what's my mic? It's radio. Like I said, I, I slept till 6 p.m. I, I was like, you, you know how depressed people sleep all the time? <laughs> That's like, I had to just sleep for hours on end. And when I woke up, I decided I was going to crack open a bottle of wine and... Uh, and then I just perused like f hate websites, <laughs> <laughs> like nigger mania and fucking all all of the the, the hate websites, and um, mm. I started feeling better. I, I wandered around the neighborhood <laughs> and uh, filmed my latest crazy guy. Did you? Yeah. So you got you you dove right back That's into work. That's right, I did. I wandered around and I found uh, a guy I've wanted to film for a while, and uh, the title of the video is "My Nigga Is Satan." Oh, right, right, okay. My nigga is Satan. This guy is uh, explaining why that word is Satan. Satan oh, it is? himself, yes. Well, judging by the uh, new video from the Atlanta security guard, um, that word gets used a lot. Really? Why don't we... Uh, yeah, it's a new is, one. Is it a good video to play? Well, uh, uh, toward the end, a woman gets in his face and starts repeating things over and over again. You never see that in those videos. <laughs> oh, boy. What about E-Rock? What did you do? Um, I had Eight. I left here and had to go to my brother's house, and when I got over there, he's just shaking his head, looking at me because everyone at work heard. And he didn't even see hear the show. <laughs> he just that's how he reacts to Iraq. Oh, well, you know oh, what, boy, that is true. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's just like, what are you doing? Uh, I like I said, the only part that sticks with me is the fact that. That couple was desperate for money. That, oh, yeah. I was like, fuck, dude. But it wasn't supposed to get to that point. It was supposed to be ridiculously silly and That's stupid. how things snowball out of jokes. control. Right. That's how that's how parties end up in, 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 like, rape charges. That's how 
hazings end up in deaths. That's, where, like, That's how football camp ends up with some of the uh, junior varsity team with uh, pine cones up their assholes. Next, <laughs> next thing you know, you're rolling up a stripper in a, in a rug and in a rug. <laughs> throwing driving, her in a dumpster and hoping. Driving, driving to a quarry. <laughs> <and hoping. Yeah. laughs> oh, my God. Just terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, John. Sam Roberts. Greatest broadcaster ever. True. And might I say, every time I hear you on the radio, it's like an eargasm for my ears. Oh, that's good to hear, buddy. Hey, here's what I learned today. Mm -hmm. That Opie tried to bring the gay back, but Sam Roberts would have no part of it and kept the gay out of the show today. I did. I did. I think uh, Opie was thinking for the Harlem Shake video that we want to do that he would, have, he would redo some of the gay off that happened yesterday. But I said, well, we got all this video. Why? How funny would it be if it, a Harlem Shake video started and then it just went to gay, like, pseudo-gay porn clips that were YouTube safe? I mean, I would watch that shit, wouldn't you? No. You wouldn't watch it, Roland. I think it'd be funny. Troy, would you dance in a Harlem Shake video? I guess. I mean, nah, you I'm don't want to no, anymore. I'm just kind of, like, I'm burned out on the gay for a while. Are you done with the stunts for a little bit? No, I don't, I mean, I don't care. If they, I'll do whatever they, they want. I mean, it's, if, if we're having fun, if there's a good vibe in the studio and it's fun, I'll, I'll do it. You know what I mean? Like, when it's a weird vibe, it's like, it, it, it takes the fun out of it, but. Now, it's been a, you've been involved in some weird vibes. Yeah. Yesterday was the fucking. The that, pits. That, yeah, that was the depths. And I, I, believe me when I tell you, I've been involved with some shit in my life. That was that's definitely up there. Was that one of the weirdest days of your life? It's up there, man. I mean, you've told us all kinds of stories about, you know, banging people in your van and burning people and who knows what else. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I've definitely never been around that much gay. I mean, you've talked about gang banging a girl and then he rock cuddling with her. Yep. You know, all kinds yeah, of we, we, we covered that one. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. But yeah. never that much gay. Never that much gay. No. Even cuz E Rock cuddling with the girl you just gang banged is somewhat gay. Well, it wasn't actually a gang bang. It was more like one after the other after the other. Oh, so like a, like a train? Nah, a train. A train, I believe, is like multiple people in the same room. That's what I was thinking too. But when we were talking about it yesterday, Jim was thinking like we can you can still go one at a time and it's a train. We we tried to do the armpit uh, thing yesterday where everybody was licking each other's armpits. I thought the same thing as you guys that a train was everybody licking armpits at the same time. But Jim was okay with everybody licking each other's armpits one at a time. That's a well, round that, robin. That's a, a round robin. What is? When you go one at a time. A train has to be in order. Have you ever participated in a round robin? No, Have you ever heard of a round robin, Troy? No. Is that like a, would you go to an all boys school? No. Did you go to public school? No, I'm kidding. I just, it's, a, it's like a similar concept, Sam. What is? That if, if you did it one individual as opposed to doing a train, a train you know, has to be linear. Right. Oh, so round robin is an exit. You just made that up? No, it's just that's what a round robin is. So what part were you kidding about? About being involved with like a gay round robin. You just said you weren't, so you were kidding. Yeah, I was kidding. Yeah, yeah, no. I so was, you were involved. No, I wasn't. I asked you if you were involved and you said no, sorry, and then I'm you sorry, said I'm, I'm kidding. Sorry. I I I got Right, it. Eric, he am I crazy? He caught I know what he was trying to say, but he contradicted it and it made it sound like he was involved. Because I said were you robin. involved and he goes, No, and then he goes, Sam, I'm kidding. And I go, Okay, so you were involved. Just tell me if you were involved or not. No, 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 sorry, I got I got confused there. You got it. I mean, Opie, only six boxes on his Sudoku completed today. Mm -hmm. He was in this thing. I need you to be in this thing, Sal. I, I, Mentally there. I'm, Are you still shaking from I'm yesterday? I'm still fucked up from yesterday. You dude. shaved your mustache. Yeah, yeah. He's still bronzered a little bit. Yeah, look, you can see. You like, can't get the bronzer out. I can't out. get it off. I got it, Look at my arm stain from the bronzer. There's bronzer on you. It's blotches on you. Yeah, it looks like uh, shit. There's like a shit smear <laughs> on it, my arm. Now, do you feel it or is it just like no, your skin just, is stained just, now? Yeah, I just can't get it off. How long does it stay for? I don't fucking know, but it, look at <laughs> my arm. You didn't read the bottle? It, you're supposed to it's apply right it like there. twice a week, but like this shit really stains your skin. Yeah, and it's not like Troy did. Troy did a, you did a bad job bronzering him. I wasn't going for complete accuracy. To be honest with you. Like if you were if you worked at a salon, I'd be I would not go back to the salon. Well, I don't think they do it like that. I think in a salon it's like a spray tan. Yeah, oh, is even. it? It's like an airbrush where they because they I mean get like accurate, like uh, smooth. You know, your face, Sal, looks tan. Yeah, but your arms look very blotchy. Yeah, and my legs are completely stained because you were wearing a thong. Yeah. What about your torso? Uh, that surprisingly came off. Did, did the sharpie come off? 
Most of it. <laughs> Is it still the word slut faintly written on faintly your chest? Faintly written on my chest. So the memories are still there? Yeah, they'll always be there. I liked yesterday that Sal was bronzered. He was in a thong. And he then he was upset about having to wear lipstick. Yeah, did you realize? Because I was, I was talking to Jess about this when I got home. And, like, you were not happy that you had to do some of the gay things that you did yesterday. Yeah. You were not happy. Uh, you were okay. You weren't happy with the tickling, but you were okay. Like, you, you were retching. Yeah, but you were okay. Gross. But you were really unhappy about having to give lap dances yeah. and having to put your asshole on guys' faces. Yeah, because that's gay. But did you learn that, like, when we have a a game or whatever, a bit, whatever happened yesterday, when something like that is going on, for you to walk into the studio and have bronzer and a thong that you're like, here we go, guys. Yeah, I, I, knew, I knew something was going to happen. I wasn't going to be able to get away with doing nothing, you know. I mean, they say she asked for it, and they're like, well, you can't say she asked for it. But you asked for it. Yeah. Well, I, th I sort of think that the, the whole thing, how we got on this, was Sal was going to be bronzered mm -hmm. in a thong, and he was going to fluff, you know, like to, to warm up. The fucking go-go. Uh, go-go well, dude. He got here fucking uh, very late, and I had, to, I had to fill in for go-go. You did. You were his slot assistant. So, yeah. So to think, like, nothing was going to happen while you're sitting in a thong and bronzer, I mean, that's, that's, a, little, that's a little ridiculous. I, ne I never said I didn't think anything was going to happen. But you didn't like it when it did. Right. Um, oh, excuse me for not liking that <laughs> shit. I guess you're no, right. No, but you, you could have stepped up. You, you know, you, you choked a little you bit still, on that. You think he choked yesterday? Well, he, he, was, he was visibly, like... He couldn't handle like a lap dance. I had to jump in and take over. You know what I mean? Like he could, and then finally, like he saw me do it. Then it was like, oh, okay. Troy, Troy made it okay. Now it's all right. I got to tell you, I would have said no if they'd been like, Sam, why don't you go there and show him how it's done? Well, let me ask I'd you. I'd be this. like, I'm not going to do it. Well, would you have been sitting in here bronzered in a thong? <laughs> Fuck no. Okay. Well, then, and knowing that the the reason you're doing this is to fluff up the gay dude. You, yeah, you're right. I mean, I mean, he, he had a purpose yesterday, didn't he? Yeah. Sal, now that it's all over, because I, oh, it's actually, thank God. it's funny. You know Garrett, Stinky, he works for Jay Thomas now, but he used to work for Opie and Anthony. I was talking to him yesterday, and he listens to the show on Audible, so he's always a couple, he's like weeks behind, because he listens to full shows and after shows, so it takes him a long time to catch up. Yes, and I thought it was so funny, because like, I was talking to people yesterday, just trying to recover from the gay off that we saw, and I go like, you hear the show today? And he goes, no, no, I saw pictures, and I was like, it was not good, dude. It was, it got weird. It got really weird in there. And he said, "Oh, I'm just at the part now. I'm I'm listening to the after show right now, where Sal agrees to fluffing up and stuff." And I'm like, "Wow, that was two weeks ago when this all started, more or less, when Sal agreed to fluff up the dancer, when he agreed to the Brazilian wax, when he agreed to the bronzing. Like you, you got to this point where you were getting shit on." Because back then, two weeks ago, it was only two weeks ago that all this happened, I think. And we, all we were talking about was the fact that Opie hated Sal. Yeah. And in that span, Sal, your life's changed. A lot. Like, you've done things that will never go out of your <laughs> memory. Ever. Yes, like you, was you seriously traumatic for me. You have been involved in gay sex acts. Uh, you've had a man's mouth on your anus. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah. Pretty True. <laughs> Not his tongue in, but no. his mouth on. True? Yeah, yeah I guess so, yeah. yeah was I never weird. felt that before, Sal. No, neither did I until yesterday. And how was it? It was awful. Awful, right? It was disgusting. Do you feel like, first of all, do you feel like you're ready to move on from this yeah. part of your life? Yeah. Or do you feel like you need to keep proving yourself? Well, I mean, I'm I'm, st I'm still open to doing like you know bits and stuff, but not the g the gay shit. I'm totally done with. Like, I'm I'm not doing any of that crap anymore. Well, what kind of bits are you willing to do? I don't know. I I, I haven't. After yesterday, I'm still recovering. Right, just you just want to take a little breather. Living, yeah, like I was like yeah. a zombie yesterday. Have you told your friends? Uh, no, I'll probably tell them this weekend. Though. Do you feel like you've grown because like it was the Brazilian wax? Yeah, it was the. I mean, ever since you told that story on the air of hooking up with the girl from work mm -hmm. and not being able to come with her. Yeah. Life's been very different. Yeah, everything's been different. Yeah. Do you feel uh, like you're in better standing with the show? Yeah, I guess. Do you or don't you? I do. I do. You do? Yeah. Troy, do you think it's worked? This whole thing, because we're now at the finish line. The whole, we set up, and you were a very big part of the responsibility for this whole thing. I was there too, but mm -hmm. you were a big part of this. It was all set up to put Sal in a better light 
specifically with Opie, but with the show in general, do you think Sal has been successful? I do. You do? Yeah. And I, you could even tell this morning, Opie talking to Sal. It, he's, he's, you know. It was. Before, before, like, I don't Opie couldn't even look at him. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I, th- I mean, look, you know, Opie likes when, and the guys like when you step up and, and, and do something for the show. You know what I mean? It's. It's important to show whatever it is. Like, what are you contributing to the show? Yeah, it was maybe the first time that I saw Opie have an on-air conversation with Sal. Yeah, that wasn't like, <laughs> or like, you know, shut up. You know, just something where you annoyed him. Yeah, I, th- I think it's it's a new sense of uh, commitment and you know loyalty to the show. I think yeah, what they saw. Yeah, it's now important. It's very important. Are you going to try to take this now? You have some positive. I guess you can shape this into having some positive energy for you in terms of the show. Are you going to take this standing and maybe try to work on creative things for the show so you don't have to because cons- consistently embarrass myself? Well, yeah. that's what you'd have to do, right? It yeah. only lasts for so long. Yeah, only a little. Yeah, we need another whipping boy. Yeah. Why did you look at E Rock when I said that? Because he's on his phone. He's <laughs> well, not listening. You know why? <laughs> because E Rock decided a long time ago. He's like, well, if I do some weird stunts. Opie and Anthony will like me more, and I don't have to worry about you know doing any work. Yeah, I, I, so I'm, I'll do I'm, that. I'm cool with doing stunts. Like that's that's all well and good. It's just the, the whole gay sexual nature of it is completely done on my end, and, and you know for the show as well. Yeah, we'll see. I don't. Do you believe that? No, me neither. <laughs> uh, Manu, Manuel in Oakland. Is hey, that, what's going on, guys? Is that is that what it is, Manuel? Yeah, that, that's right. All right, how you doing, man? All right. Hey, I wanted to know what did Sal and Troy do to wash the gay away? What did you do, Sal? I mean, I know that uh, you know you got in the shower to wash away some of that the bronzer and stuff like that to cleanse your soul. Your you know what did you do to get the gay out of your body? Uh, I don't know. I, I it's I, still I in there. Off isn't some it? some hetero porn last night. Was, was it hetero porn? What type yes. of porn was it? it? I don't know. It was probably just some like black chick. I'm really on this like black chick kick lately. You like black girl porn? I, I really want to hook up with a black chick. Black girl, white guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, because you like to see yourself as that guy. Yeah. Or as the girl. Mm. Which one? Come on. Which one do you see yourself as? I see myself as the guy. Okay. In the video, all right. Example. All right. He well, says, it... "Come on, like that's an unreasonable question for yeah. Sal." When you watch porn, do you see yourself? If you watch a guy and a girl having sex, yeah. Who do you see yourself as being? I see myself as the guy. Right. Okay. That was an easy one. A lot easier for Troy to answer. I'll just say that. He didn't say, come on, Sam. Do you really have to ask? Yeah. I was saying, come on, in sarcasm to the joke. It was a, stu- it was a stupid question. I told you I jerked off to hetero was it a stu- I mean, was there I anything so. stupid? Roland, yeah. was that a stupid question? No. Thank I mean, you. I'm sorry. You do understand why it's a question. Yeah, I, I get <laughs> you know, it. I, I get mean, it. Yes. I, from yesterday, yeah, I can see No, why. not from be- <laughs> be- way before yesterday. But the bottom line is, let's just consider yesterday. You had a man's mouth on your anus. Yesterday, remember when yesterday, we said that a minute ago? Yeah. Yesterday was and that just, happened, yeah. right? Yeah, I remember it happening. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you understand? Yes. Okay. Yesterday was the icing on the cake, is what it was. Oh, yeah. And it was a heap and helping of it, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. What about you? The man wants to know. Well, for, I'm, first of all, I'm still up from yesterday, so I'm, I'm delirious at this point. And I, I have this, I have images burned into my brain. That's probably, it might even be better, because at least now you have that weird kind of cloudiness. Yeah. So maybe, because you start daydreaming when you don't sleep at night. So maybe you can kind of pawn off your horrible memories as like, oh, it's just all part of the cloudiness that's going on up there. I, 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 right now, the image that is burned in my head is that the one dude, the taller dude, Mm-hmm. Standing on his knees, looking up at Gogo, and Gogo taking his penis and and using it. It looked like a paintbrush, mm-hmm. like how you would paint. Oh. And he was just running it up and down his lips and on oh, his nose. Can you believe you saw that? And I'm just looking at, it, and that's when it really kind of hit me. Like, dude, like, oh, well, boy. I don't know. Listen to the first hour of today's show, either on the replay or on demand, because we went into all this and like you know how he recovered and everything. And I was saying my worst part was seeing, I think it was the same guy, the bald dude, yeah. that was taller, like when he was on top of Gogo, he was grabbing his dick, but he also scooped him by the ass, so he was like holding yeah. him up, yeah. like closer to him. My, my bad one is the same guy, he was, he was, I guess, doing like reverse cowgirl when Gogo was sitting on the, uh, on the couch. <laughs> I think it's reverse cowboy. Cowboy, yeah. yeah. And he just, he was holding, reaching around behind his back, holding Gogo's flaccid dick, just rubbing it in between his ass creaks, and mm. I was just like, ah, oh, this got is, weird. this is it. So did you do, <laughs> did you, when you got home, because we told, we said you had to leave early yesterday. Yeah. You couldn't be here anymore. 
I, I just was just I was maxed out. Yeah, I get it. Trust me. I get it. I was done. I I really couldn't. I couldn't work. Like I, I was. Just... Si- I'm I'm sitting there recording my hits one show for overnight and trying to talk some bullshit about Taylor Swift for seven seconds between pop songs. And all I'm thinking about is like, oh, uh, I saw a guy making out with a guy and getting cock slapped at the same time today. That's yeah. that's all I wanted to talk about on hits because it's all it was in my brain. Yeah. You can't do that on hits one. No. Kid Cali would have been so pissed. Yeah. So what did you did you said you jerked off? Yeah, I went home. I just I just went online, just jerked off the porno, and that was that. And then I then I tried to take a nap. I couldn't fall asleep. What type of porno did you watch? I watched uh, Asian porno. Asian porno. Yeah. All the Asian women that were here yesterday. Yeah, they were oh, really yeah. cute. I, that's not why I did it, but I, I they were cute. Yeah. I, I all four girls I thought were were pretty girls. I and they kind of like, I mean, no offense to those dudes, but they you know th- those guys those girls were definitely. Out of their league? Out of those guys' leagues, yeah. I don't normal. I don't, a lot of the times, because of our schedule, because I'm tired, I, I don't have a, a lot of sex during the week. Yeah. I had to have sex last night. You did? I had to. Yeah, it, it's, it's fucking weird, man. It's it's a definitely, it was a weird. With a girl. Yeah. By the way, it was something man. Well, I would, I would. It was imagine. with my wife. Uh, your, your sexuality is, is never in question. Thank you. Thank you, Troy. <laughs> I mean, I never. You've known me to be a heterosexual. You, there's nothing that you do that is questionable in any way. Thank you. Thank you. Except the wrestling thing. Sometimes. Well, that's just that's just silly. It's goofiness, isn't it? It's like, it's childlike, is what it is. But it's there's nothing sexual about it. Well, I mean, you could look into it and go, "There's something sexual there." Because but be, I mean, there are men rolling around with each other in very small little bikinis. You could say the same thing about UFC, even more so. Yeah, but those men are beating the fucking bloody bullshit out of each other. They're doing a lot more rolling, and their shorts are a lot no, of times you're smaller. Right. You're right, and and a lot of times those I, I've. When I train jujitsu, a lot of those guys are they do some weird shit where so, they roll over and they graze certain areas and And I'm not saying that's that the UFC is gay. No, I'm no, saying I'm not you saying could that say either. it both ways. What about you, Roland? You weren't here for the first hour of the show this morning. No. What did you do to cleanse your palate yesterday? I just I, I just saw like probably a minute from the booth. Of you the, couldn't watch it. No, I just I just listened to the you I did. Couldn't, I couldn't watch it. So you're not affected as much. No, not at all. I mean, I saw the all the management over there watching. I was like, I'm out of here. You were able to put it out of your head. I had to. Like, Eric, Oof. did you do any jerking off? No, I I had to leave here, go to my brother's house, and then drive all the way back to Jersey. And by the time I got home, I just blacked out, and went to sleep. You got a lot of drinking. No, just tired. Sal, you said you were you, you did some drinking on your own <laughs> last night. I did a I, drinking alone is probably like one of the most pathetic things I think. Oh well, yeah, I, can I mean do. it's one of the sheer signs. I mean a, a lot of people say well that's like the first two steps of alcoholism yeah. right there. Yeah. Um I drank a lot. What did you drink? I had uh two IPAs, two beers and then I had a What's like, IPA? The Indian Pale Ale. It's okay. like a strong beer. Okay. And then I had uh I had three gin and tonics. <laughs> I was fucking great. Is gin and tonic like a cool drink or is that a feminine drink? It's like an old lady drink. Yeah, that old, sounds like, like an old lady older, drink. It's like an older yeah. drink. It's but just, it's it's like it's you know, it's gets it's the job classic. done. Yeah, it's a classic. I mean, it's a drink when shit happens. You're like, just give me a chance. Just give me a gin and tonic. I'll start off there and then. And you weren't in a bar. You're just in your house. I was in my house drinking, making yourself drinks. Yeah, I was <laughs> drinking out a fucking solo cup. I was like, this is bad. It was gin and tonics in a solo cup. Yeah, I don't have like you know nice glasses. Oh, so, uh, what did you think when you're sitting there? You could still have mentally feel. A man's goatee on your anus. Yeah, it was prickly, yeah. You're drinking by yourself. What do you think of your life at that point? I was so depressed. You were? <laughs> I was so depressed yesterday. Yeah. That's got to fuck you up if you go to like go to wipe yourself, right? You keep thinking about that? No, 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 because no, I'm all waxed. I quick wipe <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're still all waxed from the last thing. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine what a mess Sal is mentally right now? Because he's dealing with the whole gay thing. That he doesn't know, but you know, will eventually come out. Yeah, and then you have all the waxing and the gay. Oh, oh. I saw that that brown it's a dungeon water up there coming off my body in, in the shower, and I was just like, just crying. I was just depressed. Yeah. yeah, just the brown water mixing with tears. Yeah, it was bad. The only thing diluting it was the salty, salty tears. Yeah, it was terrible. Did you find Gogo attractive at all? No, I have to, he was an attractive guy. When he, he took his pants off, I just, I just like, I was like he was in great shape. Dude. He was in amazing shape. You can't deny he was in great shape, right? Yeah, he was in good shape, I guess. I mean, I don't really... It, I, I don't think that when I see a guy, when I see a guy start taking his Dude, pants off like that, I turn He was in way. ridiculous shape. Yeah. Like, that, that's a guy who works out all the time. And, that, and that's his real name, Harder. <laughs> and doesn't eat any carbs. No, he's that's his job, dude. <clears throat> Bruce in uh, Louisiana. Well, hello, Sam. Hello, Bruce. I just Bruce. wanted to call and... 
thank Sal for getting the gay out yesterday. Listening to it wasn't too great, but when I looked at that photo where he was wearing that ball bag and it was empty, it just made <laughs> me want to come out all the more. You're out of the closet because of Sal, Bruce. Oh, my God. He's wonderful. I love you, Sal. Bruce is out of the closet because of Sal. Now, Sal, now that you've heard Bruce's story <laughs> yeah, I knew and he shared going, that yeah. with all of us, Sal, go ahead and, and say to Bruce whatever you want to say. Oh. I'm not far good, behind. Good, good luck to you, Bruce. <laughs> That's it? Congratulations. You have any announcements? No. That, okay. Sam, all right. I do not oh like God. men. Thank you, Sal. Love you. <laughs> Goodbye, Bruce. Skittles. Skittles, indeed. Holy shit. You know what everybody's talking about, Rowan. Skittles? The Dollar Shave Club video. Skittles tries it. You know, Skittles, they try to make these ads that everybody talks about, and they put them online. They don't go viral. DollarShaveClub.com, they put up that video. It goes viral. Over 9 million hits on this thing. Everybody's talking about it. I, Opie hasn't seen it yet, but I told him about it. I, I've seen it. It's hilarious. It's actually really funny. Spoiler alert, there's a, you know, a, a guy in a bear suit and a toddler shaving a dude's head. Everybody buys razors, right? Well, brand name razor companies, they nail you. They build them with 10 blades and the vibrating handles, some built-in back scratcher. Good Lord. You end up paying up the wazoo for these razors. I don't mind wazoo staying in the copy. I hope he doesn't like it. I don't mind it. Well, dollarshaveclub.com says stop overpaying for shave technology that you don't need. All us guys want is a great shave without shelling out 20 bucks month after month. Dollar Shave Club is genius. You'd be crazy not to do this. All you do, you send them a couple bucks a month, and they deliver great quality razor blades right to your door. No more digging through the trash for that old blade that zombied out your face yesterday. Go to dollarshaveclub.com. Watch the video and laugh hard. That's dollarshaveclub.com. Dollarshaveclub.com. You feeling okay, Sal? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm, we, we all have the same, I think, uh, expression right now. We're all, f like, exhausted. Still, still fatigued and shell shocked from yesterday. fantastic. You're okay, because you didn't have to deal with any of it. No. Well, remember when I walked in, they, they, I heard just heard my name, Rowan! I just turned around and kept on walking, I left. <laughs> well, it was funny listening to, like, you know, I, I said it on Ron Fez yesterday, but Anthony, Anthony's a guy who does not get into a bad mood, right? Yeah. Hang on one sec. Randy in Toronto. Hey, Sam, I just heard you talking about Dollar Shave Club. I joined up, like, two or three weeks ago. I know this sounds like a plant, but mm -hmm. it is the shit. You I, like it. I'm going to save, like, so much money. I live in Canada. I get raped for razors. Yeah. It's like, 22 bucks for, like, a four-pack. So, Dollar Shave Club, it's like, I think I pay six bucks a month. And they were solid. That. They were late with the first delivery. Gave me a month free. They are the shit. Didn't you already tell me this already? No, no. Yes, I, this is the first time calling in, bro. All right. Well, uh... I'm glad that they saved you from getting raped. <laughs> All right, man. All right, I'll talk to you right, later. I can't say that much for Sal, though. <laughs> no, no, you can't really. I mean, Sal was very close yesterday. Uh, do you think? Do you think you can send that to them? But don't send this part. You think they're se they're setting up calls to call in? I was thinking that because either Didn't early, somebody earlier this week or the end of last week when these things started, somebody called in saying that they were using this service, but it was like right away. But they called in and they said the same thing about the razors being late. And then hmm. Dollar Shave Club replaced them. Maybe that's just like a workaround that people are doing. And that guy actually sounded Canadian. No, I think he was Canadian. I just wonder if the company is having people call the show. I mean, I, they don't have to. The product works. Yeah, if they can get an extra plug-in, why not? I guess so. But if you're going to do that, call in later. Don't call in at the same time as your ad is on. Silly gooses. Geese. Uh, Anthony was in a bad mood yesterday. He's never in a bad mood. Anthony is always just, he doesn't give a shit. He's just ready to have a good time. That's what he's here. He does the radio show to have fun. You know what I mean? And yesterday he was out. He was out of this yesterday. Well, he we had to deal with the State of the Union first. And then he had the gay off. I've never seen, well, no, State of the Union was whatever. He always gets mad about Obama, but, you know, he makes a show out of it. And then we move on. He's never tapped out of something. I've never seen Anthony tap out of something. Never. Yesterday he was not he was not in this. You said Troy, didn't you? That uh, there was a show going on, this whole gay off thing, and Jim was dictating it, and you were dictating it, and I was dictating it. Anthony was over here talking to Opie about other stuff completely. Yeah, wanted they're, they're no out. part of it, and rightly so. Yeah, I mean they were the ones making the right move. Yeah, we like fools were trying to make this thing happen. 
We should have just followed Opie and Anthony's lead. We'd probably be a lot healthier. But my question is, okay, so fine, we got rid of Gay. Yeah. Wouldn't you think it's it would be the perfect opportunity to, the, like, let's get fucking broads in here ASAP. Noth- nothing's, nothing's booked or scheduled yet. To tell you the truth, anything sexual right now. I mean, I would love to see broads, but I, I don't know what to do with this show right now. Maybe that's the way Opie and Anthony are feeling. They don't want to commit to anything anymore. And I'm telling you, I, I pitched They need that, a recovery process. I pitched an idea in the meeting, and it got shot down, but I'm telling you, we should have had broads here yesterday to even out the gay immediately. Yeah, that's true. That you think of th- at least three. Well, I mean, we had to, when, what would we have done with them? Get fucking naked. Let's see your buttholes and pussies. But we did the gay off lasted two hours. Well, I mean, what's his name showed up late, so that fucked everything up. But if that if he would have showed up on time, you could add some broads in here. Or better yet, put broads back here in the corner. So it's like when there's too much gay, you can look over there and go, Oh God, look, there's some hot <laughs> there, bitches. There's some bitches. Yeah. Okay. Just have them here, you mean. Yeah. You just, just want some naked bitches just I, here. I just said to even out the gay. And Troy did say he goes, if you don't have that, weird shit will happen. And look what happened. Weird shit happened. But nobody, Opie. nobody wants to listen to me. Oh well, I mean it's a ridiculous idea. You just want naked women oh, here as and wallpaper. Oh, fucking some dude at, making his dick into a paintbrush on some other dude's lips. That right? was also your idea. idea. That was your idea too. No, I'm saying, but that, but that's not a weird idea. That was yours, right? So, so having th- bitches in here is a bad idea. <laughs> as wallpaper, it's a silly idea. Why would we're not going to hire women to come in here and be wallpaper? You don't need to hire them. You needed a higher go-go. Yeah, you do. He's putting his penis and on people's And every time lips. when girls come in here for free, they go take off your clothes. Uh, no, you can buy the magazine for that. Yeah. Uh, you can see the video but, for uh, that. But with those girls, are they prefaced? Are they of prefaced? course they are. It's okay. the Opie and Anthony uh, show. Okay, but remember what we Our discussed. Our history prefaces us. Okay, so do they say, hey, look, you're going to have to go in there and get naked. And do you they agree to ma- doing this? Multiple times. The girls have said, yeah, they may ask you to take your clothes off. Oh, okay. And then they get in, and Opie and Anthony ask him to take their clothes off, and they don't do it. Yeah, okay. that but Dennis Rodman chick, she didn't want to get naked at all. Happens all the time. Well, I mean. It's happened many times. The guy, they, they do, there's a lot of guys in here that are predator-like as soon as they <laughs> well, walk look, in here. Look. Right? So, so what girl? So what girl's going to be like, oh, that's a fucking... Second they walk in, like everybody's trying to fuck them. I can't account. First that, of all, I, I would this scenario and then have gay sex shit going on in the background. I'm that telling you, be if, if, if it would have been okayed, if it would have been like, cool, let's get some fucking broads in here, I would have found broads to get naked in here. I would have. But I got shot down immediately. No, because they need to be strippers. And strippers, no, they don't. strippers don't come in unless they're getting paid. No, they don't. If you can get naked girls in, then get naked girls in. I could. But what are we going to do? Let's do If we think about what they want them in, I'm not just going to show up on tomorrow morning with naked girls. If you have girls in here that are naked, what are you going to get in trouble? Oh. What, are they going to yell at you? If they want them, I'll get them. Yeah, of course they want them. Everybody loves naked women. Do they? You're saying Opie and Anthony may be gay. I, no, I'm not saying they're gay, but I don't know if they want women in here because they've passed on so many girls. I think they'd like to see because of the history of the girls on this show. But no one ever sits down and goes, okay, what could we do with these girls? If because have, they don't do if anything. They have, if you have a fun idea picked out of what we can do with them, where we sit down and brain shoot ideas. No, there's no shooting ideas at anybody. Because it's we've just, had ideas for girls. And? And the girls come in, and they don't do let it. Let me fucking talk to Laney. Somebody's not talking to Laney right. The guy who could barely speak. <laughs> oh, Roland! Yeah, no, and, and in Roland's defense, this was this was a, a before Roland. This shit was yeah. going on. Why don't you go find a cock to suck? I'm not even going to do it. Tom in Philly. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sammy, sweetheart, professional broadcaster with the best hair and radio. How are you? That's exactly right. What's up, buddy? Got to tell you, Dollar Shave Club saved my life. It did? I was homeless on the streets, had a beard <laughs> down to my knees. Wow. Going to Dollar Shave Club, got all clean. Now I'm a goddamn stockbroker. Because when you were homeless, you could afford a couple of bucks for razors. Well, you know, I hit up some crackheads and uh, got a couple of bucks together. And so now you're. Shave club. Look at me now, buddy. How much money do you make, like, in a month as a stockbroker? Uh, two, three bucks. All right. Well, that's still better than being homeless, right? Yeah. I mean, times are tough. All right. Thanks, Tom. Mm-hmm. Cut that for him, too. Um, Opie, in order to get the. to cleanse himself, he went out on the street. And Opie's lost his mind. At some point, he lost it. Maybe I think he lost it a long time ago. This video. Play the video, Sal. He put up this video. And he, we played a little bit of it uh, during the show today. He's talking to this homeless guy. What's it called, Sal? Nigga, my nigga is Satan. 
and it's this weird homeless guy. And he's got this bandana on. He's an old man. He's got layers on. He's got a green glove and a purple glove on. And he keeps doing hand signals throughout the entire video. Like he's talking in sign language. Now this guy... Yeah, go ahead. It's like he's doing gang signs. It is. He looks like he's about to start crip walking. I looked at this video and said he's completely unpredictable. Right? Like I wouldn't approach this guy. Then Opie goes on to say... You know, I didn't even catch him on a good day. On a good day, he's throwing chairs trying to shatter a window. He's chucking chairs at bank windows trying to shatter them. And I'm sitting there going, Opie, you're a, bil you're a millionaire. Not a billionaire yet. It's probably close. Opie is a millionaire. I mean, you look at the end of this video. Look at the end of the video. But he's a crazy whisperer. They, they come to him and they feel safe. You think so? Every time I go out video with him, like a crazy guy, Opie is a mil safe with him. He's a millionaire. He's a father of two, and he's playing peekaboo with an unpredictable homeless man on the sidewalk in New York City on February whatever. On February thirteenth, he's out there on the sidewalk in New York City playing peekaboo with a homeless man through a potted plant. Well, the other guy was with him, was like kicking people, spitting up people. Opie he walked right up to him, and the guy did nothing to him. He didn't. Nothing to him. But then he continued to kick and spit people while he was talking to Opie. But not him. So he gives Opie the story. Yeah, he's like, he's safe. Like, he feels safe around him. And then Opie could just film. You film, and then he walks away, and the guy attacks people. It's hilarious. And Roland, if you or I went up to these people... We would have been t attacked. We would have been attacked. Yes. We would have absolutely been attacked. I, I'm scared half the time. I don't know how he does it. I mean, if I was... Had, if, I was a mil if I was Opie... I'd be sitting on top of New York City in my awesome apartment being like, good thing I don't have to go out and film homeless people because I'm a millionaire. Yeah. But no, this is how he gets his kicks. Homeless people doing gang signs and playing peekaboo with them through potted plants. The video is on Opie Radio. I think it's uh, I think it's on our Facebook too, right, Iraq? Yes, it is. All right. A lot of people want to talk about getting the bitches back on the show. John in Ohio. Hey, uh, Troy Corn. Yep. Hey, man, it's not that the guys don't want the women on there and do fun shit with them. It's, they've been shot down by management so much. It's like they've just kind of given up and say, why even bother? We know how it's going to end up. No, I, under, I totally understand that. But, I mean, you can do other things other than I mean, look, those guys, they, they had a lot of fun and they did some crazy shit back in the day. So it's like they, I know that they, they probably would like to do things similar to what they did. But you can still do f fun things with girls but that's what a lot of that is that because you go and you have all these great ideas and you want to do stuff and you're thinking oh this is what we have done let's do something on this level and you just get told no no we can't do this we can't do that and you're like fuck it then no i do understand you that. know what i mean i do understand that so i mean just that makes i mean it's the same thing with you you know you've come in here and be like well i don't give a fuck no, because I, I you don't know understand. but if they're, if they're saying on air that we need to get girls back on the show we need to get girls back on the show then it's like, all right, then we can figure something out. Stu. Yeah, I, I think uh, calling back from the NEW days, doing the wiffle ball back contest, that's what you guys should be doing with the naked girls. We would do the wiffle ball contest in a heartbeat, but you can't stick a wiffle ball in a girl's pussy anymore. Yeah. You can't do it. That's insertion. You're inserting it into her vagina. Got to love management. I mean, I don't, I don't know who it is. It might be lawyers. I don't know who makes the calls here. But... You can't do it. Uh, Mike in PA. Hey, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is an idea I got from Taylor Vixen. She pleaded the other day that uh, she wanted to know how much her boobs weighed. Didn't Danny come up with an, a way to do that? A couple yeah, I mean, we could do a contest where you weigh boobs, but it's like, I don't know. You can seems... just go at the end, oh, wow, you have the biggest boobs. That's it. That's a little like... Uh, I don't know, small market radio to me. Like, how much do your boobs weigh seems a little, you know, a little wacky. A little morning zoo-ish. Yeah. I know it's not quite Ryan Seacrest, but it's it's a little waka waka, you know? So, what, so you, do you think you should just admit defeat and be like, okay, well, we'd like girls in here, no. but we can't think of anything to do with them, so we won't do it. I'm all for, if you say you can find girls who will get naked in here, find those girls, Troy. I will. Find those girls. That ball's in your court. I mean, somebody's... Apparently, I'm the only one that has to step up and take care of shit. I take care of shit on the daily. I know you do. You know that. But but this is not my department. I, I'm telling you, I don't know any girls that will get naked on this radio show. So, you say you do. 
Sal hangs out with mainly guys, so he yeah. could help us if we wanted to do something like yesterday. I'm sure Sal could help us out with that. Roland, do you think you're not talking to Laney properly from Penthouse? I don't know that world. You don't. Let, yeah. let me, if you let me talk to her, I'll talk to her and, and break it down like what is going on. Does What's Troy need to be the new pornography booker on the Opie and Anthony show? Well, like, she'll say, here's what the girls are willing to do before they come in, and I present it to the guys. But then a lot of times they come in and they're not willing to do it, right? That's and it's like, what can you? That's not what can you, you do? Can't control people. Then you just go, okay, you don't get your plugs. <laughs> Hold them over them. Yeah, here they are. No, you don't get them. This you is what? what you said you're gonna do. I'll pass on to Troy. To I'll, I'll be the, more. And I'll, I'll, he can be I'll, the porno guy. I'll, I'll talk to guy. I'll talk to Laney, and then I'll talk to the girls personally and be like, look, this is what we need to do. If you're not gonna do this, <laughs> don't go in there. Don't waste our time. Stop. We got other shit to do. Yes. Hope totally, he's got Sudoku. We should totally make Troy do this. Yep. You got. I mean, man for it. You got to fucking break shit down to these bitches. You think Sal can handle it? No. <laughs> no. All right. You got to know how to regulate that pussy. We got. And do you know how to do that? <laughs> I don't know.